Good day to my brethren and my sisters and y'all who have submitted themselves wholeheartedly to the will of God, the will of Yahuwah, our Elohim. I'm making this video today <clears throat> because it's time for our people to embrace the truth to take the red pill on Christianity. That's right, I said it. Take the red pill on Christianity. What does that mean? Well, the red pill, if you have ever watched the movie The Matrix, you know that Lawrence Fishburne's character presented Keanu Reeves' character with a choice. <clears throat> Excuse me. He told Keanu Reeves' character, which is Neo, that he showed him that the world that he had been living in was an illusion. <laughs> it was a construct. And most people never, most people would never ever realize it, that they were living in a world that was an illusion, a mirage. And after he showed Neo this, he then gave Neo the choice. He gave him the choice of the blue pill, which is you go back to your living your normal life. You forget that I ever had that meeting. You go back into your same life. Or he can take the red pill. The red pill will make him conscious and aware of the truth. Now, why am I saying that it's time for us to take the red pill on Christianity? Well, because Christianity Christianity is become a religion. Most Christians aren't true followers of the Hamashiach or the Christ. Most Christians, particularly in the Western society, have no idea what it takes to be a child of God or a child of Yahoo. They have no earthly idea how to follow the Hamashiach. And when you present them with sound doctrine, when you present them with the truth, because we can only serve God in spirit and truth, they reject you. Most of them take the blue pill. Yep. They rather believe that if you tithe 10% of your income, that God is going to bless you and he's going to pour out this blessing so much so that you won't have received, re removed, we won't have, I'm sorry, room to receive it. They'd rather believe that their pastor can somehow cover them spiritually. He can somehow protect them spiritually. They'd rather believe that speaking in tongues <laughs> is an utterance of babble of things that they don't understand. They'd rather believe that women can be ministers. Women can be pastors. <laughs> they just rather believe so much ungodly stuff. They'd rather believe that we don't have to follow God's laws, precepts, statutes, and commands. They'd rather worship a figment of God. They don't really want to worship God. <clears throat> but you, my brothers and sisters, who are hearing my voice, seek God. Seek the one true God, Yahuwah, our Elohim. <clears throat> because following Christianity in its current iteration would get you nowhere. 
So you're going to have to make a choice, either to take the red pill and embark on the journey of true relationship with God or continue to take that blue pill. Keep thinking that once you're saved, you're always saved. Keep thinking that you can keep living a lifestyle apart from his commandments. And just because you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, as the current iteration of Christianity likes to tell you, that you're going to be saved regardless of what you do. Keep believing that there's going to come a time to where they're going to be called up to meet Christ in the sky. The rapture. All these things that I'm saying is false doctrine. They're not biblical. They don't have any scripture backing. They're anti-God. So, we have to take you have to take the red pill you have to wake up to the lies that Christianity has taught you you have to destroy the false image of Christ that Christianity has taught you you have to wake up and realize that God Yahuwah our Elohim which means Yahuwah our God is not in that mess there is no power in Christianity in the Christian church. The reason there is no power <clears throat> is because the God that they serve isn't the true God, Yahuwah, our Elohim. They are void of his truth and of his spirit. There is no power in it. Now, I don't say this to dog so-called Christians. I only say this because the word of God tells us that you shall know a tree by its fruit. And the fruit of so-called Christianity is bad. The voice in the so-called Christian church is the same, if not worse, than the voice of the world <clears throat> pastors so called pastors are void of righteousness they lord over the quote unquote congregations I say quote unquote congregations because that is not how the Hamashiach or how the earlier church was. But they lord over them as the Gentiles do. <clears throat> now, I know that most Christian church are Gentile, but they lord over them as people of the world. <clears throat> There's no blind people being, being made seen again. There's no people being made whole. The sick are not being healed. <clears throat> the tithing, quote unquote, tithing money is being used to prop up these pastors. It is the reason why I say, my brothers and sisters, that it's imperative that you come out of so-called Christianity. And learn how to have a true intimacy with Yahuwah, God, our Father, through Christ the Hamashiach. So, my channel is dedicated to dispelling a lot of false rumors in Christianity. My channel is dedicated to giving you nothing but tr spirit and truth. To showing you the compare and contrast of Yahuwah, what Yahuwah expects of us. And <clears throat> What the so-called Christian church and the world does to us. So, with that being said, my good people, I'm going to bring this video to an end. And I will catch you on the next video. You guys take care. 
and may Yahweh bless you.